now NBC3 Sports, awarded Best Sportscast by the New York State Broadcasters Association. Hey, happy Memorial Day to everybody out there, and thank you to all who have fought for our freedom. I'm Andy Belnoski with sports. Well, they did it. Cortland women's lacrosse brought home their first ever national title. The Red Dragons took care of business on Sunday by beating Trinity 17-6 to win the first D3 title in school history in the program. Now, Cortland came out like gangbusters, leading from the start, and they never looked back. How about this for a final record to end the year? 22-1. That, my friends, is pretty good. Good. No doubt a force to be reckoned with in 2015. For the Red Dragons, this win was worth the wait and more. We haven't forgotten. I know the feeling of losing and it's not something you ever want to experience again. And we just, we all had the same mindset and we finished today. We focused yesterday after the game. It's great to get over that final four. Um, that's been a little bit of a curse with this team. So we were excited to get there. And then the fact that we got to pull Trinity was just exciting. All right, sticking with the ladies, congrats to two Syracuse Orange players, Kayla Trainer and Taylor Gate, for making the all NCAA championship tourney team. Both played crucial roles in getting the Orange to the NCAA Final Four before falling to Maryland. Yes, the very same game where the Terps held onto the ball for the last seven minutes to win. Check out this footage. The Terps did end up winning the NCAA title this year, 9-8 over North Carolina, but mad props to the Orange on a special year. Hey, NCAA men's finals, Maryland versus Denver, a holiday tradition. Look at that flag. It's a giant. First points of the game, Wesley Berg, rocket fire, making it look easy. 1-0 Pioneers. Terps coming right back at you. Colin Heacock heading the lead and cutting the lead in half. Shoots and scores the West, trying to keep up the heat. But Connor Canizero, yeah, just say it with me, cannonball. That goal is money. Then Eric Adamson finished the deal, real deal, Holyfield style. Denver pulls away. The Piles win the title 10-5. Back to court when this time baseball, the Red Dragons making their mark in the College World Series. Now they just have to wait a little bit. Cortland, their Sunday game versus Frostburg State was rained out and pushed back until today. First pitch just slated for 6 p.m. So just a few minutes ago out in Wisconsin. Cortland is hoping to win their first ever national title on the diamond after finishing second two times. More tonight on CNY Central with a full recap of the game and more. Matt's hosting the Phillies. Always nice seeing the Statue of Liberty. Reminds me of Ghostbusters a little bit. Early in this one, Michael Gadire blast off. This smack is gone. Yeah, he's been a good signing for New York. Glad we got him. Later, two on for Wilmer Flores. Say hello, say goodbye. A three-run Jack Flores now leads all shortstops in the bigs with seven home runs. And in the end, Mr. Familia getting the save for the Mets, and they get the win, 6-2-3. Well, the Yankees also won today, crushing the Royals 14-1. Legend Bertie Williams won last night. The Yankees retired as number 51 Sunday after a storied career in the Bronx. Williams officially retired last month, even though he last played for the Yanks in 2006. So that's big time stuff. And also, got to say this, Lisa, good to meet you here tonight. I first know. time. And, and good to hang else. out for the first time. <laughs> I know. And also, uh, happy birthday to my mom. It's her birthday today. Aww. And I wanted to say that to her. Well, happy birthday to your mom. And she's celebrating with a Yankees win. That's right.